Hello and welcome. Ever mounting allegations of satanic ritual abuse, SRA, have ignited controversy and debate in countries everywhere, most especially where known pedophiles are being shielded from investigation through the unlawful machinations of corrupt authorities. This report explores SRA's origins, implementation and social impact, shedding light on a deliberately obfuscated topic that remains meticulously hidden and shrouded in mystery. The origins of SRA can be traced back to the late 20th century, when a surge in reports emerged, primarily in the United States and other Western countries. This mainstream media method of muddying the waters of the issue confuses and marginalises serious accusations while diverting focus from a subject they desperately want to conceal. Despite these manipulative efforts, it's known that organised clandestine groups engage in heinous rituals, including abuse, torture and even human sacrifice. SRA practices typically involve secretive cults orchestrating ritualistic abuse, often against children. Incidents come to light through various mediums, including victim statements from therapy sessions, recovered memories and assorted media coverage. Satanic information gatekeepers disingenuously contend that SRA reports lack credible evidence, denouncing victims' testimonies as anecdotal accounts from questionable therapeutic practices. This glib dismissal ignores the salient fact that an abundance of victim and witness testimony establishes the reality of this hateful malaise beyond all reasonable doubt. The micromanaged satanic panic of the 1980s and 90s played a pivotal role in amplifying SRA confusion. High-profile cases contributed to public hysteria, leading to widespread fear and paranoia. Law enforcement and the media played significant roles in diluting these claims, while many accusations were cunningly hidden and eventually abandoned. The social impact of SRA is multifaceted and continues to reverberate throughout various communities. Families are routinely torn apart, but no matter how compelling the case against offenders, no meaningful action ever occurs. Instead, children are cruelly subjected to invasive public interviews and gruelling examinations for the purpose of deterring other victims from coming forward and naming their abusers. Another defensive tactic was questioning the credibility of mental health therapists wrongfully accused of implanting false memories during what was derided as suggestive therapy sessions. Legal skullduggery added even more confusion by raising an excess of spurious cases leading to numerous accused individuals having cases dismissed after years of legal battles. Examining SRA, it's crucial to note how truthful reporting is under relentless pressure to keep the horrific facts from getting out. It can be a dangerous topic to cover, but it must be exposed no matter what. The controversy surrounding SRA still causes heated debates, with many stressing the need to investigate all instances of abuse. Most would agree. But all the while satanic pedophiles infest the highest offices, no such investigations will eventuate. Compromised agencies and authorities will continue to suppress investigations until the truth is eventually revealed, which it will be. Meanwhile, government narratives dismiss the phenomenon as a product of moral panic fueled by sensationalism and unfounded claims. These blatant lies are stoically upheld, disregarding the massive body of evidence establishing the globally thriving presence of this malevolent practice. Media instilled confusion is geared towards dismissing all allegations of abuse occurring within these highly secretive cults. The controversy surrounding SRA persists, with more information exposing its origins, implementation and social impact. 
SRA is particularly prevalent among the higher echelons of the ruling classes. Increasing numbers of traumatised survivors are coming forward and exposing its unspeakable practices. They reveal that Australia is a fiercely protected haven for satanic pedophiles. Courageous SRA survivor Fiona Barnett details this evil blight upon humanity and I have her <coughs> shocking testimony posted on my website. 20,000 children go missing in Australia every year, yet unbelievably we hear nothing about this horrific atrocity in the corrupt media. This ongoing crime must be addressed with satanic offenders brought to justice. Pedophilia and child sex trafficking are the keystones holding the upper echelons of political, military, religious and financial power in place. It must be exposed and destroyed with offenders brought to rigorous account. Mainstream media, the judiciary and senior law enforcement are wholly complicit in this horrific crime against humanity. There must be a Nuremberg-style international criminal trials for these sadistic monsters who routinely rape, torture and ritualistically murder defenceless children. Compromised Australian family law courts and child protection services function as child sex trafficking rackets with numerous churches, the judiciary and high-ranking Freemasonic police perpetrating and covering up decades of sexual crimes against minors. In the shadows of society, this sinister phenomenon has long haunted communities worldwide and left a lasting impact on individuals and communities alike. The roots of satanic ritual abuse can be traced back to ancient pagan practices that involved sacrificial rituals to appease deities. However, it wasn't until the 20th century that reports of organised satanic cults engaging in abusive acts began to surface. The aforementioned satanic panic further brought this issue into the public consciousness as countless allegations of precise similarity emerged across different countries. The impact of SRA extends far beyond its direct victims. Families destroyed, communities gripped by fear and paranoia, and individuals traumatised by horrific memories are just some of the examples of how SRA disrupts lives. As society grapples with this wretched legacy, it's imperative to provide support and resources for survivors who've endured these traumatic experiences. Mental health professionals play a vital role in helping individuals heal from the psychological scars left by SRA. Unfortunately, their efforts are cruelly undermined by corrupt law enforcement agencies purposely failing to investigate cases while ensuring the perpetrators never face justice. Law enforcement agencies around the world share the same tragic malaise of decent police detectives trying to investigate child abuse offences, only to have promising inquiries abruptly cancelled when they get too close for comfort. Should they seek to pursue politically high-profile offenders, despite being warned off by their superiors, they immediately see their career in ruins, invariably dismissed from employment. The UK's eminently courageous ex-detective John Wedger bears testimony to this rampant corrupt corruption, demonstrating how the establishment ferociously protects this entrenched evil. His sworn testimony clearly shows how these satanic fiends manipulate the justice system to ensure the pedophiles in charge remain untouchable. Here in Australia, there exists a crippling ban on releasing details listing 28 named pedophiles holding the nation's highest public offices. This police document is well known to the community, but the damning information remains tightly protected along with all named offenders. The history and social impact of SRA are a grim reminder of this malicious darkness that lurks within the more sinister shadows of society, most especially throughout the so-called higher echelons of government, 
police and judiciary. We must remain vigilant in addressing SRI abuse while supporting survivors on their journey toward healing. The intricate and harrowing history surrounding it serves as a chilling reminder of the depths of cruelty permeating throughout society's very fabric. This unsettling phenomenon has left an indelible mark on the collective consciousness, prompting us to confront and grapple with the menacing forces hiding just below our community's surface. The social impact of SRA cannot be underestimated, as it has shattered lives, eroded trust and instilled fear into the hearts of many. It is a sombre testament to the importance of vigilance and awareness in safeguarding our society from such evil influences. While the government and media continue to propagate misinformation surrounding this phenomenon, we must continue to pursue all instances of abuse while supporting survivors on their journey toward healing. Exposing this ominous chapter in our collective history demands that we do everything possible to stamp it out and forever rid ourselves of its vile stain. Thank you for watching.